did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. When I first discovered the UP, I came to college here in Marquette, Northern Michigan University. And I used to walk this lake walk almost every day. It was back when I walked like five or six miles. I think just to alleviate anxiety mostly and to think, walk and think. Sometimes I'd find a friend to walk with. And I'd always come down to this spot right here which I'm going to show you when I turn the phone around. It's been developed around it, but I think it's still kind of intact. So let me show you. These little spots that are right next to an urban center, but it's almost like you pass through a veil and it could feel like you're anywhere a hundred miles out in nature are so precious. And this was, this was the spot for me when I lived in Marquette. I'm sure others too. It's not like it's my own personal discovery, but this is right off of downtown. <laughs> Someone even put a swing in that tree. Look at that. I can't believe this spot's still here. So cool. I even come out here sometimes and sleep. We'd go to the bars and get rip roaring drunk. And on summer nights, we'd just come down here sometimes and crash out right on the beach. Not even a blanket or a towel or a pillow or anything. Different times, different world. Well, there's Grand Island, guys. Somewhere on there is a wooden lighthouse, and we're gonna find it.
Ready to go for a boat ride? Well guys, this is another one of those bucket list things. <laughs> Let me tilt it up so you can see it. One of the only wooden lighthouses on the Great Lakes. Um, and it's, I've heard it's kind of in bad shape, but they're trying to, to raise money to preserve it. Um, but let's go to shore and take a closer look at it. You know I gotta just check, right? No, of course not. Even the retaining wall was made out of wood. It's amazing that it's still here. Here's some more of that rock work that we always see in the lighthouses, but this doesn't look quite as hardy or beefy as her on island. Maybe it was just the rock they had to work with or who knows. It's actually holding up pretty good considering the environment. Beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. 